Welcome back to my OBS rabbit hole. If you didn't see the last video, this one kind of explains what's going on. But basically, I've got this weird thing where my system, if I open OBS, will double my frame rates. Now, it sounds like that is silly and, and it's like some sort of magical fix. It's not. It seems like it's a bug with my system. In response to the first video, very few people were finding the same issue as me. So I'm in a very, very small minority. But in this video, I go through some of the different things that people suggested to fix this. Uh, and I actually kind of hone down a little bit more what it is that I need to kind of work out in OBS because it's not actually just having OBS, the program open, you actually have to do a certain thing with it. But we'll get to that at the end. I'll put uh, some chapters in this. If you want to just skip to the summary and, and the thoughts at the end, that's fine. But if you want to go down the rabbit hole, go deep into uh, a load of testing that I did, come and watch this. And uh, at the start, there's some slow motion uh, video capture from a camera to show you that there actually is a difference in frame rate between uh, before I do the OBS fix and after. So for those of you who weren't really sure it was even a thing, if it was a reporting thing, we cover that as well. So let's get into it. Okay, we're back testing again. Here we are, I've just dropped into Orizon. So far, I've not touched anything, and we were at, so if you can see that there, a solid 18 FPS, we're just in bed. We'll use this as our test setup today. Uh, and so then I'll now tab out, open up OBS to show you again, and we'll just, to show you that the same thing is still happening. If you notice there, the GPU load is very low. Look at that, 35, 25%. Uh, so in theory, we're CPU bottleneck, but, but again, this isn't, the reality of this CPU in this scenario. So let's swap everything around. Open up OBS, should pop somewhere. Got the launcher, just so you can tap out easier. We'll not worry about that now, skip version. And back into the game, and bang. Look at that. Something has happened and GPU load is now higher. I'm gonna open up CapFrame X and this will have an overlay thing that we can show. We've also got afterburner there so you can see kind of before and after. Back into the game. So still low. I've got the overlay, that's fine, okay. So we've got an overlay showing the same frames, 22, 21 over there. So it, it isn't just the internal counter which some people were suggesting it might just be a display error. I wasn't ever sure that was possible because that's an internal engine FPS counter, so I'm not sure how you could mess that up somehow. But that is showing it, and again, we'll now open up OBS, and we'll we'll see again that they should both match each other. Again, we can look at over here to see we're at 36% GPU usage, which should in theory change. Um, I, wonder if it, I wonder if it changes before we even go back into the game. Yeah, interesting look. You've, I can give it a zoom. So focus, you can see already, just by opening OBS, the GPU usage that's reported by Afterburner and the temperature has gone up. And so in theory, if I can find the mouse, where's the mouse? When we go back into the game again, we'll see yeah, much higher frames reported by both the overlay and internal counter. And so, yeah, what, what we're seeing from uh, Afterburner there shows that this is a real thing, the frames are changing, the GPU is doing more work. This is some 120 FPS footage slowed down to 30 FPS. This is before the fix. Notice how jerky it is, it's kind of pan across. You can see the just lag and just horribleness of it. And then as we switch across to after the fix, you'll see much smoother. And again, this is just for anybody out there who's not sure that this is actually doing anything. You can see here clearly that the frame rate is actually getting better. And uh, yeah, it is a real thing. Very few people had the same, found the same things as me, but um, there were a few people who did find that doing the same, opening OBS would improve their frame rate. Very small number, most people made no difference. But one person said that they'd done some testing and that streaming on Discord could also um, do something. So I've opened up Discord and you'll see that's not changed anything. So we'll try, We'll try this, we'll try, I don't know, I'll stream to my Discord, I guess, I don't know. We'll click on here, we'll, uh, how do I even do it? This one's Stream Star Citizen, so click on that. 
Do I want to? Where do I want to stream it? I don't really know what I'm doing. If you're on the Discord and suddenly this confuses you, apologies, just testing. Um, so, okay, it's streaming down there. Has that changed anything? Back in game? No, not for me. Okay, so streaming to Discord has not improved the frame rate. Let's just stop that stream before people are very confused. Lots of people have mentioned uh, the power settings in Windows. I've tested that before and that doesn't do anything. But some people have suggested trying out the settings in the NVIDIA control panel. So we'll give that one a go. Control panel. And so, yeah, there are power settings that, that you can faff around with that NVIDIA give you. Now, in order for this to work, I might need to actually reopen the game. Um, at the moment we've got G-Sync on, but that hasn't again made any difference. I've, I've tested with G-Sync off as well, but I'll, I'll do a bit more of that as well. Power management, right. So I've just got it on, at the moment, I've just got it on normal power management mode, but we'll, we'll go for prefer maximum performance. And if we apply that, I think we'll have to relaunch the game because I don't think that will do anything. So that's, okay, so that's applied. Just open up the game, see if that's made any difference. No, so let's relaunch the game and see if that's done anything. Okay, so we're back in the game with the NVIDIA control panel set to maximum power, prefer using all the power, basically that's not made any difference. We'll change the Windows power management stuff to high performance. Um, do I have to turn this on off again? Don't think I do, but has that changed anything in game? I might, again, I might have to relaunch the game for that to do anything, but uh, it's not done anything by just changing, but I'll relaunch it just to check. And we're back in the game, but unfortunately, no setting Windows power settings to high performance have not changed the problem. Same issue uh, that would still be saved solved by OBS being open, so that's no good. Okay, and now I'm in game and I've actually only installed OBS just to see if that would make any difference. Some people have suggested maybe there's some sort of clash with OBS or OBS was the problem, but that does not seem to be the case. No improvement in FPS by uninstalling OBS completely. And reinstalling OBS has not changed anything either. Just a quick look at some more stats on the uh, overlay here. You can see that, yeah, the CPU seems to be running pretty heavily. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily trust those numbers uh, that it's really running at nearly 100%, but 90, 90%, 95 there. But it seems as though the major issue seems to be something going on with the GPU because the GPU is a 300 watt card and it's only pulling 90 odd and uh, clock speeds on the, GPU, on the GPU are not high there either. So. Yeah, and again, if we do the thing, here we go, OBS is open, back into the game, and we see the GPU power has just shot up, and the GPU uh, clock speeds have gone way up. So I wonder if I should just do a complete fresh uh, driver install uh, using the, there's a tool that you can use to just completely uninstall. GPU driver, so I might just do that and come back. If you've not used DDU before, it is quite a handy tool, and um, yeah, whenever you're switching, especially switching between AMD and Nvidia, it can be quite a good idea to use this, but basically you completely wipe everything. So we'll do a, we'll do a clean and restart because that's what we need to do, but you, if you're trying to say switch from AMD to Nvidia, you clean and shut down, install the new one, and it basically wipes everything clean and should give you the best opportunity for good driver stuff. So yeah, I definitely recommend doing it, especially if you've got any issues, uh, it can be quite a handy tool. So we'll do this, we'll come back. I don't know if this will do anything, but it's worth trying. We're back after the driver uninstall and reinstall, and we're still seeing bad frames. So that hasn't done the trick. I may have made some progress. So obviously we've got the same problem here as we're having. You're probably fed up with this like me right now. We'll switch over and I have changed, um, I've basically set up some new scenes or a, a blank scene in OBS. So if I open OBS, you will see um, there's no scene or there's no, it's just literally this one scene here which has got no sources in. So there's nothing hooking into Star Citizen if that makes any sense. And so then if we open back up Star Citizen, nothing has changed with the frame rate. Now, 
I'm, I've not tested this, so I'll just show you live whilst we're here. If I change the scene collection to uh, the one with the Star Citizen thing in, so now in, under uh, game capture, there's a game capture which will pick up Star Citizen, and in fact it's actually picked it up. Has it changed the frame rates? Yes, it has. Aha, so just opening OBS itself doesn't do anything. You have to have, by the looks of things, a, a scene with Star Citizen in. So it's not OBS itself, it's something about when OBS starts to capture the game that it uh, seems to do something to the GPU or, or allow my GPU to get utilised to its full capacity. So there we go, that's something interesting at least. We're on the minimum spec system here. Uh, the figures are kind of the same, the FPS is sort of the same, although you can see it's gone higher there, so I don't think the same issue is. But just look at the, um, the GPU load, the that 400 odd percent, it keeps hopping in and out. Um, normally on Display Info 4 it will show it properly and it, yeah, it, it seems as though something weird is going on. 500 odd percent there, you see that, and then it hops down again. I'm then going to just open OBS, and again on this one, I've got a scene with game capture so it'll pick it up. In fact, we can look here. Now look at the 3D GPU load. It's now consistent. So it's just staying there at 95%. This is something I've checked a couple of times. And so the frame rate hasn't gone up. Um, but something seems to be happening when I open OBS even on the minimum spec system. And actually, again, we're this is still a minimum spec system in the game. You see the GPU load is hovering at 95%, or at 30 FPS on the minimum spec system. If I come out and close OBS, close it down, back into the game, and now you'll see the GPU load, that's the copy GPU load, but in a second you should see it pop back in just changes the behavior changes there you go a thousand percent so something is changing in the reporting so even on the minimum spec system it seems something is happening OBS is doing something and it's obviously not having the same effect on the frame rate as it does on the uh, main system I've got but for some reason having OBS open and fully open and staying open on this system this has got an i5 8 400 uh, 16 gigs of RAM and a 1660 um, GPU so it's a completely different setup to the main system, but there seems to still be some weirdness going on with OBS. So there is something going on here. That's the summary of this. Through the testing I've done, I can't fix the problem. Uh, I have got closer to working out some of the kind of things around the thing. So obviously in OBS, like I've showed you there, you have to have OBS open, but also with the game capture for Star Citizen open. If you just have blank scene, it won't do anything. So any of you who went and tested this, just opened OBS. I didn't really give any instruction what to do last time and didn't know to be fair. But uh, if you tested this last time, if you wanna go and test it again, but with a game capture uh, source on, so that Star Citizen gets picked up by OBS, that is that is what's happening with my system here. That's why I'm getting the, the extra frame. It's bizarre, the bizarre stuff, and I'm hoping CRG can, can work this out somehow. Um, the bizarre stuff really I think is is looking at that minimum spec system the stuff at the end right then where it doesn't really affect the frame rate of the i58400 uh, and, and that system the minimum spec system that I've got but there's something going on when OBS is open with the game capture versus when it's not and and I've got no idea whether CRG can work anything out from that or whether that is just something that doesn't really matter um, but there probably are some things that I still can test, and I didn't mention all the things I've tested. So I tested with um, NVIDIA Shadow Play, or whatever it's called these days, on and off. I've tested with HDR, on and off, full screen, and uh, windowed. I've done some testing with that. None of those do anything. I guess a full Windows install um, is probably a new, is kind of the next option, maybe. Uh, I feel like I've may have done this in the past this has been happening for months for me now um but yeah we'll see we'll see again any more suggestions i would love uh to hear them in the comments i covered i think a lot of them but not all of them from the first video so yeah 
apologies if I didn't get to your thing. But uh, yeah, that is where I'm up to. The, the quest for the fix goes on. I still am having this weird issue. Again, it doesn't affect any of the testing I do because I can just open OBS and it will bump the frame right up to what it should be. Um, and yeah, there we go. If you like this more technical look at Star Citizen, subscribe, like the video, and I will see you soon. Bye.